Welcome back, folks, to episode 6 of my Advanced Tactics Gold multiplayer game versus Mike. Uh, now, in this uh, battle here so far, um, it's been kind of like trench warfare down here. It's been pretty tough back and forth kind of stuff going on here. Last round, he attacked me down here, and uh, here, let's go ahead and take a look at his turn. He actually beat me back in one place. He had a failed attack there. He lost five armor in that attack. Here he severely weakened. Didn't lose the armor. Then he turned around and knocked me out of there. So he actually beat me out, beat me back down there. Then I actually came back and took it back. Uh, now remember, I did uh, build these dive bombers there last round, and I hit the. Uh, I came down here with the dive bombers, and I did managed to kill one of those tanks, but I was a little disappointed I only got one. I was hoping to get maybe two or three out of it. Um, I moved up, I took this hex from the enemy right here, and then I actually... is that the one? I had that one. Yeah, I think that's the one I just took from him, right? Uh, these guys involved in battle, they were involved in battle. Yes, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I just took that hex from him up here. I retook that one. I came into here, and I actually I actually sent this engineer in here, and I built a fortress. Uh, the weakened units, I backed out, and I moved the stronger units up. I got spare units, so I'm able to do that. So I pulled these ones that got battered back, put strong ones forward. I got all my anti-tank guns up here, uh, and I still have some more barrages. It looks like, yeah, it looks like I still have some more artillery barrages to do here. Weaken the enemy some more. I think I will go ahead and let's see, get some of those barrages out of the way here and there that I missed. Pick off a couple more infantry. I think that's about all I can do. I think I already did them down here. What about this guy? He's got some action points. I guess some more down here too. Let's do a barrage right here. Looks like we only have one there. Okay, and then we will, let's do that one, could be overstacked a little right there, might cause a few more casualties there. Alright, I got those barrages out of the way there, what about him, did he, okay, yeah, he went. Uh, you know, let's go ahead and zoom in here. Give you a little bit better look at what's going on out here, what the enemy has, what Mike has over here. Here's his armor right there. Uh, here's up here. This is the spot I just took. I backed the weak guys out, pushed the stronger forces forward. Got all my anti tank guns way up here. I have more guns coming in through production. Now, this turn around, my strategic bombers actually did quite well minimal losses. I hit this air base right here. I destroyed the air base. Uh, there were some fighters there. I killed off a few. This air base was a huge success. I came down here with strategic bombers here and destroyed this air base. Um, there were a ton of fighters on this air base. I mean there must have been like I don't know upwards of 15 or more. Um, I hit and then, and then I hit this city. I think I had a couple of fighters come in and and try and do a um, they intercepted uh, and I knocked the lock out on this city here. It, had, it was up to about 900, I think. So I have to assume and this guy is up to about 900 now too. I may go after that next round. I didn't quite have enough action points to get that far because. The fighters that were in this group had their readiness was down a little bit. Or 
Mm, well, I guess just the action points weren't quite up to 100% on that. I'm hoping maybe next round it'll be a little better. I didn't. It's kind of hard for me the way I got my air bases, the, the position I chose to get to reach up there if they don't have enough action points. Um, yeah, the, the, you know, I was evaluating this, crunching some numbers here with these strategic bombers. I want to see just how successful they've been and how much they've been worth the money I had to sink into them because they're very expensive. It costs 3,000 production points apiece to build a strategic bomber. I currently have 18 in service and I've lost 7, so I've built a total of 25 strategic bombers now. That's a pretty expensive endeavor. So I decided to crunch the numbers, which crunching numbers is something I like to do. You know, I, I, I like to get really into the combat stats and all kinds of stuff. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that's the way I am. Um, <clears throat> I mean, Sun Tzu says the general who makes many battle calculations uh, will win, and the general who makes few will lose. So. I like to lean towards making many battle calculations to, to try and give myself some advantage there. Um, so anyway, I ran through some not really precise numbers, but some rough numbers here. I've built now a total of 25 strategic bombers. I have 18 still in service. With that, I've destroyed uh, three factories. Uh, now that three factories in terms of production, how much it costs in production to build those three factories is equal to about 40 strategic bombers. Uh, there's been about, oh, probably an average of around two turns of loss production from those three, two turns per each of those factories in loss production since they've been destroyed. Some of them were destroyed earlier, it was probably three turns. But some are just destroyed within the last turn or two, so that's average about two per turn. Uh, and that's equal to, oh, what did I figure that out to? About another 18 strategic bombers. And then you consider the loss in production in the cities here. Because remember, initially I hit all three of these cities, and I locked, I knocked out the lock on two of them, and very nearly knocked out the lock on that one. Uh, you consider the loss production in those cities a little harder to calculate because it's going up each turn, but that's probably equal to eh, probably pretty close to the loss production in those factories, around another 18 bombers. Um, now consider the amount of fighters he lost by destroying these air bases here with these strategic bombers. Look at the losses this turn. Look how many fighters Mike lost. 27 fighters. Now a couple of those may have been lost through some kind of intercept or something, but the bulk of them were lost through those two uh, air bases that I destroyed. So that's uh, about, uh, let's see, a fighter is worth about two-thirds the value of a strategic bomber, so that's worth about another 18 strategic bombers. So, I mean, what am I up to now? Um, you know, I'm, I'm approaching close to the value of maybe 100 strategic bombers for the 25 that I made. So that's, a, that's I don't know, a three, 300, 400% return on my investment there in the amount of damage I've inflicted on the enemy with these bombers. So they've definitely been a very good investment for me. Um, I'm sure Mike is feeling a little bit of frustration and all these factories he built over here are just gone. And then next turn he's going to open up and he's going to have two missing air bases and all the fighters on them gone. Uh, I'm sure he's not going to be happy about that. He's going to be looking to exact some revenge on my forces down here again. Um, but anyway, you know... This is just the strategy I decided to employ in this map because I knew it was going to be tough going through here. And I wanted to dominate him somewhere to give me some kind of advantage. And I've chosen to dominate in the air and dominate through production. And so far my game plan is working pretty good. Um, I do want to get a couple, like I said before, get a couple battleships built. I need to save up some raw for that because they're very expensive and raw. I think it's 160 raw to build a battleship. 
but I want to get a couple out here in the water for winter time so I can come up here and possibly destroy a, uh, um, a shipyard here if I have to because uh, in the winter when the mud rolls in I, I, there's going to be a window where I, I would be unable to attack it if he builds one there uh, so with that I'd say yeah that's where we're at right now did you get a look at this yeah you got I think you saw the whole line pretty good there I should be using this feature more often in my videos because it, it rather opposed to me going around and click, 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 click and showing you what's in the stack. You looking over here, you can get a real good overview. You can see, you can see he has a, a fort. Is that just a fortification? I actually built a fortress here. Those fortifications go down pretty quick with some artillery, I noticed. So I went full on fortification here to make it a little tougher. It's kind of expensive though. I think it was 10 pps to build that. But I wanted something that would withstand this huge stack of medium tanks he's got sitting here. That's very annoying. Um, yeah, well, I think we'll go ahead and wrap this video up here. And uh, we'll see what my opponent does on his turn. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.